What's the difference between cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting? In this video, we'll explain the differences between these terms and share some info you should know before choosing or using a disinfectant. Hey guys, Marcus from Odoban here. Welcome back to the Odoban channel where we are sharing cleaning tips to help you make life fresh. We all want our homes to be clean. But what do we really mean when we say cleaning? Cleaning refers to physically removing dirt and some germs from surfaces. Cleaning typically means using soap or detergents and water to scrub, wipe, wash, or rinse away dirt from a surface. Cleaning doesn't kill germs, but will lift some germs from the surface and wash them away. Cleaning is the first step before sanitizing and disinfecting, preparing the surface for a sanitizing or disinfecting application. Sanitizing takes things a step further than cleaning by reducing the number of bacteria to what is considered a safe level for most people. However, sanitizing a surface doesn't eliminate all microorganisms. Disinfecting is the more effective method for stopping bacteria and viruses in their tracks. You bacteria and viruses are in for it now. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Quick reminder guys, Click the like button if you're enjoying this video. It really helps us out. And if you like cleaning videos like this one, click the subscribe button. So, how do disinfectants actually work? The disinfectants rely on their active ingredients to break down the structure of bacteria and viruses, essentially destroying them at the source. But different disinfectants work in different ways, depending on their chemical composition. We won't cover these in depth in this video, but here's a graphic showing some of the different types of disinfectants and their active ingredients. Disinfectants are also categorized based on their spectrum of activity or the range of microorganisms they can target. Here's a graphic showing some of those spectrums. They range from limited to high level, and the spectrum classification is important to keep in mind if there are specific microorganisms you're targeting to kill with a disinfectant application. You can think of it like preparing to have people over to your home. If it's just your best friend, you might spruce up a little bit. But if it's Grandma Myrtle coming through, you prepare more broadly. And if your mother-in-law is coming, you're on your hands and knees scrubbing every square inch. An important part of any proper disinfection is contact time or dwell time, as we referred to earlier. That is how long the disinfectant solution must stay on a surface in order to work properly. Again, be sure to check your label for proper dwell time, which varies depending on the specific disinfectant and the type of microorganisms it's designed to kill. Rushing the disinfectant application by wiping the surface too quickly may not give the disinfectant adequate time to do its job, so check that label and follow the instructions. There are many different disinfectant products on the market. These products are usually available as either a concentrated formula, which must be diluted with water as directed on the label before use, or a ready-to-use solution. With Odoban products, you'll know these as our Odoban concentrate, typically found in these gallons, and Odoban ready to use and continuous sprays. Again, always use cleaning products as directed on the label. Thanks for watching. Do you still have any questions about cleaning, sanitizing, or disinfecting? Tell us in the comments below and we'll get back to you. In the meantime, be sure to check out the other helpful videos on the Odoban channel. Before you go, here are a few more helpful videos you should definitely check out. And if you like this video and want more of the best fun, free cleaning tips and how-tos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and then click the little bell icon so you'll always know whenever we post a new video.